Hey, what's up guys? So we have our app installed and I can see over here that you know this app is installed on one particular store which is none other than our AR Tech Gadget store which is something which I own because right now it is although it's not it's a public app it is not listed okay it is in development mode so as to say now obviously the next step for us to do is see how webhook communication can work let's just say our app wants to do something when a product is updated maybe the title has changed or the description was changed or maybe an image was added to that particular product right so if our app wants to know what changed in that product or rather when it changed it will automatically try to detect it but the basic idea is that we get a webhook an http webhook to our app <clears throat> and then based on that we can do a lot more things when you are doing private apps there are ways for you to you know configure inside the note settings notification system a url which will kind of send you you know webhooks to a private app but in our case when you are creating a public app there will be multiple stores which will send webhooks to your app right so the flow is a little different in that case what happens is this app needs to register a webhook when the app is getting installed now if we go to the web.php file which comes with the template now again this is something which i like about this template that they have a lot of example code which you can use to quickly get started so fallback is fine can you see this auth api auth callback right in here it is registering to this url the topic is app uninstalled the shop name and the access token what does the registry register function do registers a new webhook for this app with shopify and that's exactly what i want to do so the first parameter is the url second is the topic to subscribe second a uh, third is the shop to use and then the access token the delivery method is an optional parameter it can be set as null or because it defaults to http okay so let's get started what do we have i want to add one more let's say it is on product update so response prod update equals let's copy quite a few things from here i'll keep the url same i'll show you i will tell you why product listing listing publication profile update yeah this is the one so i am trying to register a webhook for this particular topic again i need to throw an error if the response is not success so i'll change this and this instead of app uninstalled this is registered product update fail to register product update yeah that's that's about it so now the next step is we need to uninstall the app because this is something which happens only when we install the app so let me see how do we uninstall or remove an app go into the settings of your store inside settings apps hmm. remove I don't have any reason to delete. I don't want to say anything right now. Okay. So let's refresh. The installs should come come back to zero. It didn't. That's a bit weird. Maybe it takes time. Okay, now it is. Right? So this is working. And then let us take the URL again. come over here and it is trying to install it this particular app again let me do that it will do its redirections and stuff so let us wait for that 
So we are again in the admin screen. Everything is fine. Hit refresh. You may encounter these things from time to time. Let us try and refresh again. Okay. It says no deliveries, which is fine, but I'm just wondering, say which all topics I have subscribed to. I don't think so. Okay. We don't. So let's try and update the product and see if we get anything. So what I will do is inside the web.php, there is one URL called API webhook. So if you remember what we have done is that, uh, yeah, we are saying the URL is this for product update. So we can definitely put a log over here. log the request all so we'll get all the parameters and so we already got these two log entries and it said that it registered the product update which is good now we need to see does it actually send a webhook when i update a product so let's just come over here cold flower new product it can be any random thing basically i want to trigger the update so i hit save it says product saved that's good and over here i can see the data which came in as part of the webhook right i get the title the body html vendor is art ar tech gadget which is my store obviously because uh, the, this is this entire context is that the store is sending a webhook right so we always need that vendor thing it's a multi-tenant kind of an architecture product type null that's fine but i would say you know the entire data even if you are not getting it the most important thing is we are getting the id we are getting the admin graphql api id and that's all that i require for the webhook to tell me because you know the intention of webhook is to just understand that something happened and i will immediately send a successful response and complete the request the webhook api is not going to do too much with it ideally what should happen is when we get the webhook we acknowledge that yes i understand that something happened for example ar tech gadgets sends a webhook so my app says okay vendor I know your product got updated sends the response back and before sending the response back we raise an event or we put that particular job in a queue and then my app running on the server whenever my server feels that you know it has the bandwidth to consume the that data from queue it can obviously do that so yes this is how a typical architecture should be but as you can see so far we have been able to send a webhook from Shopify store when a product got updated and the app which I have on my partner, partner dashboard, it did get that webhook. Now let's see if we can see those metrics. If you remember, this is happening, okay? It says 100% failed, which is a bit weird. The delivery failed Do I have any error log? Right. Now, as you can see, this is the next step, which is it says it is getting this webhook, but there are no handlers to it, which is the next thing which I'm going to show you. So let's go inside the apps, providers, app service provider in here somewhere over here right can you see registry add handler topics app uninstalled there is a handler to it similarly maybe i will just create one more entry like we did inside the web.php file and let's see where are the handlers so handlers 
gdpr fair enough let me create one more which is product updated dot php let me pick a little bit of code from here or rather steal that um, log is fine handler is fine this will be product updated U P D A T E D, right why don't we do something like logger dollar topic dollar shop dollar body so all the three parameters are over here and i'll say class should be product updated something like this so then let's try and clear the entire log and try to update a product once more this time i'm hoping that it will be giving a success success of description that hit save come over here refresh this and inside my log file we have an array which is fine the product update this is basically coming from the topic and then we have the shop and then we have the body so yes this is working as well and i'm sure this means right 75 percent failed why because you need to remember shopify typically tries at least three times before it fails that's what i have seen at least in the log files right so what happened is i have four webhook requests out of that three failed so yes obviously and i have a higher failure rate total delivery is five okay response time is 0 0.41 seconds fair enough so yeah that's about it guys that's how we have configured our app to consume webhooks from stores so we registered our webhook when the app is getting installed so this is the code which takes care of that right and we are also logging the success or failure of that registration of webhook once the webhook is installed we need to ideally not ideally but you have to you have to add a handler to that webhook and that this is how you do it you mention the topic and you say which class file is responsible for handling that particular webhook right and obviously now in here you can write any code because you have the liberty to do anything with the data which is coming so yeah that's about it guys that's how we consume webhooks coming from shopify inside our app if you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comments below if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel